number one factors contributing to increased number of ca esophagus or cancer of esophagus among african population so if you are living in africa this is a very good topic you can research on because this condition is very very common among african population if you go to the surgical ward or if you are working in hospital and if you go to the surgical ward you will see many of these cases they are very very common and um, one of the risk factors uh, that hasn't been researched on so much is the association between cancer of oesophagus and um, consumption of hot uh, hot beverages like coffee. So is there a causal relationship between consumption of coffee, hot coffee, and cancer of oesophagus? Number two is effectiveness of ketamine infusion in management of resistant depression. So uh, ketamine is a medication used in, in anesthesia and it can also be used in management of depression, resistant depression. But how effective is this medication? How effective is it is? So uh, this is a good topic you can research on. Yes. Number three is incidence of antibiotic resistance bacteria among children admitted at pediatric ward. Number four, improving quality of life of patients with cancer of oesophagus. So this particular cancer is really, really bad because their quality of life is really, really poor. They have very poor or bad quality of life. So um, that means that you need to come up with um, research on how you can improve their life, their quality of life. You need, you need to come up with a research because different country apply different measure uh, and that means that uh, quality of life of patient from different country are not the same they are they are different so you need to come up with a research on finding out which uh, measures from different country offer the best quality of life for this particular patient so hope you have understand improving quality of life of patient with cancer of oesophagus that is number four five factors contributing to increased number of depression among college students so depression is actually very very common this day especially among youth among students among university students is very very common because maybe because of the pressure from their parents or peer pressure so number six Factors influencing life expectancy of patient with type 2 diabetes. So patient with type 2 diabetes normally have uh, a lot of complication. And uh, that means that their life expectancy is actually very, very low. Especially when they are not uh, on medication, when they are not adhering to their medication, when they are not following up on their treatment and the investigation. So uh, you need to you need to carry out research on finding out what are the factors that uh, influence their life expectancy. Number seven, contributing factor to diabetic complication among patients with type 2 diabetes. Eight, factors influencing health seeking behavior among patients with chronic metabolic diseases like diabetes, hypertension. So uh, what are the factors that influence their health-seeking behavior? Some patients actually do more follow-ups than others. You're going to find out that some patients do more regular visits than others. So what are the factors that influence their health-seeking behavior? Why do some patients don't adhere to medication? Why do some patients don't follow a uh, health advice nine is a, of a quality of service offered to beneficiaries of insurance cover you want to find out whether the uh, beneficiaries of insurance cover are receiving the same amount of care as their counterpart number 10 prevalence and incidence of mental health ailments among healthcare workers and so it is important to find out 
what mental health ailments health workers do normally undergo especially because of the work stress you see uh, because some of them are severely underpaid so uh, they may be going a lot of mental health and uh, this may actually affect the quality of service offered to the patient number 11 attitude and belief toward male contraception among male and women so what are the attitude how do men and women uh, feel about male contraception so you need to do this you need to research on that number 12 skills and knowledge on preparedness and management of cholera outbreak among general practitioners and nurses so you want to find out whether gps and nurses uh, have necessary skills to tackle outbreak of cholera impact of access to clean water and sanitation facility on child mortality in lower income countries number 14 is effectiveness of pre-exposure medication in reducing new hiv infection among sex workers so most of the time workers are using prep because this medication uh, prevent them from getting uh, hiv infection so how effective is this medication does it provide uh, longer protection uh, uh, how effective uh, is it in preventing new hiv infection among this particular group number 15 investigating effectiveness of smoking cessation intervention through a randomized control trial among university students so you want to come up with a research on whether the smoking cessation intervention is effective uh, among university students so there are several interventions uh, or several measures to curb uh, smoking among youth among young adults uh, attending university so you want to know whether those measures are effective or not relationship between air pollution and respiratory diseases or respiratory infection is there a relationship between development of uh, respiratory diseases like asthma or chronic bronchitis uh, with the uh, air pollution is there an associating factor so uh, you need to research on that in reducing child obesity what is the most effective intervention the most effective intervention in curbing child uh, child obesity school-based health education program on adolescent and sexual behavior and contraception use what are the impact what impact does school-based health education program has on adolescents number 19 longitudinal study on relationship between sleep duration and cognitive function among older adults does the amount of time you spend sleeping affect cognitive function 20 factors affecting cervical cancer screen uptake among women in developing countries so women in developing countries have lower screening uptake so you need to research on that you need to find out why why screen uptake is very very low so you need to do research on that